Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Hiro Ushio, your comfort hero for today. We are going to be playing some amazing games, have a good time, so sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Let's see what's playing today. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen! The long-awaited show is about to start! The Ultimate Hiromoto Fighting Championship begins now! Oh, the Ultimate one, okay. Episode 4, The Ultimate Martial Arts Tournament Begins! No weight classes, no rules, no mercy! My name is Peachon, and I will be your MC for this death match! And... Here's <laughs> Al! ta da ta da Yes, that we are now in Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god, is that a Hellcat? That is a Hellcat! Hellcat looks angry and tired. Are you tired because you're angry, or you're angry because you're tired? Hellcat, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a really good day today. Also, yes, I feel like we are in a Dragon Ball uh, scene at this point, because like we are now in a tournament. The ultimate tournament. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Goku. Right? He likes to fight. She calls herself Fuji's daughter! How mysterious! Ao lends us her assistance at the last minute! I wonder if that is Fuji's daughter. I can't wait to see Dad beat everyone to a pulp! Mmm, violence! <laughs> and now I present the prize for the winner of this tournament! I like how we, we, can, we can just taste the violence. It just, it's so delicious. Mmm, yes! Delicious violence. I can go with that. Prize? Oh, but I don't want to be a prize. Somebody help me. Oh? Let's see. Hellcat says some people would say life is a bitch. Not me. <laughs> you know, Hellcat, I, I could see that. Yeah. I, I, could, I could see you not saying that. That is true. This is a true thing. I hope you're still going to have a good day, though. Or at least have a good night's sleep. You know what I mean? Behold, a fugitive on the run and a suspect in the Udo Castle case. Udo. The winner will be awarded Miss Perilica. Oh. Zenep says, I wouldn't mind a cute cat girl as a prize, right? Especially when the cat girl has a huge bounty on her head. You can either keep the cat girl or sell the cat girl for a whole bunch of money. Hell. They call it hell here. <laughs> How fun! That's the girl that was with Dad. I sense Why do people want to capture you? Because they pinned your crime on me! Thank you very much, Miss Perilica. Now, as you are both a prize and a competitor, please return to the green room. We have 9,999 participants in the heats. You must all compete in a battle royale for a spot in the final round. Only those who are successful will find themselves among the finalists. Please, slaughter to your heart's content! You can do it, Dad! That sure is a lot of participants. I can smell the gunpowder all the way from here. <laughs> hey, Fuji! Are you really gonna be all right? There are a lot of demons here. The small fry don't matter. What I'm worried about is whether or not there are any seven founding weapons wielders around. I can't quite explain it, but I can sense a strong soul. Like again, in his demonic gun, and you. <laughs> I don't know about that sense of yours, but I'll believe you for now. I'm gonna start off by getting rid of the dead weight. Yeah, uh, Zedep, her mask came off when she joined us. So, um, after we helped her out at the end of Chapter 3, um, she took off her mask, decided she wasn't gonna be a Phantom Thief anymore, and decided to join us on our quest to, uh, get the seven legendary weapons. So, we're 
kind of helping her, but also not helping her. I mean, we kind of did. We bought, like, Paralika pretty much uh, bought her, like, fishing rights to the island that she lived on. So she's kind of helping her people, so that's why she's helping out. I only watch bits of this. It's okay, Zidup. I'll fight too! No one's getting their hands on me! And that's when the fight scene happens. Now we go to a deer in the headlights. Aww, how did it even come to this? Why am I the prize in a fighting tournament? It's a pain in the ass to pick out the infernal treasure wielders one by one. That's why we're holding this tournament. We're using you as bait to get people to sign up. I'm sure you'll draw in a huge crowd as the first place prize. Me? A prize? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean by bait? Oh, do you mean I'll be cooking up a buffet of my famous fluffy puppy fluff cakes? Mm -mm. What? No, you idiot! You're a wanted criminal! The bounty for a fugitive is way more enticing than a stack of pancakes. Yes. And the suits themselves will happily sign up if we tell them you're all theirs if they win. They can even grill you up. You know, the weirdest thing is, um... I still would probably fight for a stack of pancakes. It depends on how good the pancakes are. If they are as fluffy as she claims they are, I might actually go for that fight. A stack of pancakes can be pretty good, especially when you're a hungry man. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I see. You make a valid point. She would make for excellent bait. No, I wouldn't! So you're saying the 13 magistrates might enter the tournament, treasures in hand, to get Perilica. All we gotta do then is steal the seven founding weapons during the chaos of the tournament. So that's like, you don't want to eat a cat girl? Don't you put some- uh, Hey, I never said don't put food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and we can make a killing through participation fees and tickets, too. That's two birds with one stone! No one's allowed to get mad if I go on a shopping spree, either. Hold up. We gotta pay off my debts first. Now I had to borrow 10 million hell this month for some, uh, personal business. When did you incur that debt? You're not a reckless spender, are you? Is this really going to work? I mean, who would be dumb enough to fall for such an obvious trap? Me. Me. Demons are ruled by their desires. Mm -hmm. Even if they know it's a trap, I'm sure they'll still participate. This is true. This is true. That's how I ended up here, with 10,000 demons sneering at me. I feel like a fear in the spotlights. <laughs> you mean a deer in the headlights? Not that it matters, as long as we get hell out of this. It's funny how easy a mark demons are. Oh shit. No, oh, Cat, I knew you were waiting. <laughs> I knew you were waiting for that. I just knew it. <laughs> you, you did get me, though. I, I got a little bit spooked. Just a little bit. So, yeah. Take some pride in that. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to mention. But later on tonight, we will be playing Blair Witch. So, look forward to that. Um, I hear it's a good scary game. I'm not sure how, like, how long it's going to be. But I heard it's a short game. Like, people said they've been able to complete the game in under three hours, so... Um... Like, three hours tops, you know what I mean? So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. The next scene is round one. Battle with Yaban Yanko. So... Yeah, no, yeah. This. So, here's the thing. The fights were actually not so bad with this thing. So, I like, that's why I'm saying I'm sorry you guys are missing out on it. But, the fights are actually pretty cool. They actually were very enticing. Very, very fun. Um, this one specifically was actually very fun too. With the heat's over, it's time for the finals. We'll be broadcasting this live via the Netherworld Network. I'm embarrassed to say that 
I too am filled with excitement. Please permit me to break character for a moment. Go for it. Do you dudes want to see the Netherworld's strongest demon? Yeah, but I'm right here. Yeah! I want to see him too. I know it's sad though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here come the fighters for the first round of the finals. These seasoned combatants have a different look about them. On the east, we have an alluring predator who never lets her prey escape. Her dazzling pheromones make even lions purr. It's the lion killer, Yaman Yonko of Team Yaman Yonko! Hi! Cheer me on, meow! Yeah! Calm down, dude. Who's standing against her? No way, man. What's with me? I want to fight her, too. My god. Ugh, shut up already. Not like, like a, a bunch, bunch of frisky felines. felines. Still, this empathy allergy of mine makes all that sound like music to my ears. Go on. Keep meowing, you dumb tomcats. What you call us? Riling up the crowd like a true heel. The castle is there to be destroyed. The strongest fugitive of them all. My dad, he's the bestest around. It's food he a show sign. Stop making stuff up. Mm, you're kind of young to be a father, Meow. And you're a show sign already? <laughs> We're the best swordsmaster in Minamoto, meow. Can you shut up? I'm not a dad, or he's a Shosai. She's just saying shit! No. You better get ready. I'll make you regret entering this tournament. In fact, you'll wish you were dead! Alright, and so the epic battle ensued, and we would fight Yabanyanko, like for like five minutes, and then we would come out victorious. Hence this scene. <sighs> You're strong, Meow. <sighs> but I've got my own reasons for being here. <sighs> I can't give up now, Meow. Yes, you can. Just give it up. Purring suits you better than a victory roar. Go on now, kitty. Purr. Uh, cut it out with the cat toys, meow. Uh, 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 I can't resist. Uh, this is so embarrassing. Ha! <laughs> Guess you can't come back from the shameful display. Just hurry back home with your tail between your legs. Merciless. The thought. He didn't even pull his punches against a cat babe like that. Is he gonna be okay? She's got a lot of fans. You went too far! Yeah, he's right! Apologize to Yavin Yonko! What's that? <laughs> you wanna turn into a sea of blood? <clears throat> Say something. Someone yeah, speak up. That's what I thought. Just keep your mouth shut, wimps. Goodness, he sure has embraced villainy. The audience is sinking in their seats. How do you read the situation now? Hmm. That's cool, even when he's a bad guy. That's a biased comment if I ever heard one. Thank you for your insight. I haven't seen you in a while, but you've changed, Fuji. That man, that man right there, him, him. Okay, we know him. He was definitely in Disgaea 5. So, um, if last stream, if you guys didn't know, like, I was, like, he had white hair. He had, like, a different outfit attire entirely. But this is definitely his shadow. A hundred percent, this is his shadow. Um, 
By the way, Nemesis says Fuji is the best character. Fuji is a is a super top. Like we're just like he talks down to people like like a dom, and he knows it. So this dude right here, if you remember, like he was the main villain for Disgaea Five. But, we know that's not him. This has to be like his shadow or something, or, or, just maybe, could be a possible, like, prequel situation going on here? Like, before, before he became, like, as corrupt as he did? Or, this is, like, during his corruptions? So, we'll see what happens. Like, we will only find out the more, like, the more we, uh, get into the game. So without any further ado, everybody, let us continue I'll with the I'll show story. you the way, dude! Let's see, let's see. Round two, Steel Justice. Let's see, Zedep says, I know the real reason why Hero is dressed like this. It's not because of it being October, it's because Hero went Forsaken. Wait, Forsaken? Hero went Forsaken Future. What does that mean? Zedab, tell me what it means. What is it? Like, is that some kind of, like... Is that, is that a hint to a game or something? You gotta tell me, buddy. Hmm. 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 I'll think about that later. Right now, we shall set out. Oh, that's right! I remember. The chaotic first battle has concluded. Now for our second match. On the east, we have a duo with an unusual resume. Uh-uh. Tell us more, tell us more. <gasps> it's a robot girl! Wait. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what it is. Death to all evildoers. Meow. Oh, your name is Sugar. The Spec Ops Angel Team, led by a mysterious robot and Saber Cat duo. Mysterious robot? No, that's not right. We're the gorgeous and chic Spec Ops Angels, Sugar and Spice. Oh, that makes sense. Gorgeous and chic? You're talking nonsense again. Meow. How cool! Your mechanical style and that robot oil smell is right up my alley! The cute, cute robot, robot girl's nice and all, but there's another cat fight lined up. She even ends her sentences to sing. Oh! So you're saying another cat's been let out of the bag! Oh! Haha! <laughs> I can appreciate a good... a good pun. Good job, Paralika. Oh! You got the same right for once. But... Uh, just... No. Right? Well, Fuji, come on. You can't. You, that, that was good. That was like situationally placed well. I will give that to Paralika. You must be the fugitive Fuji, yes? I witnessed your last match, which ignited my desire to fight you. OMG. Let's see. Nemesis says, great. Give them a green girl, and we got the Powerpuff Girls. Sugar Spice? What would you name a girl that's called Everything Nice? There's gotta be a word specifically for that. What the heck are you talking about? Taking a girl when she's already down? Threatening innocent audience members! My heart of justice urges me to reform you! <coughs> oh no. Fuji! Justice, huh? You're acting so high and mighty, my allergies are flaring up. <coughs> whoa, whoa! What's happening? He looks really hurt! Let it go! Crush that demon! Who's that nothing owl's dead? Can I smash this whole place to the ground? Then it'll be nice and quiet, right? How now? Calm down, owl! Goodness! Even the other contestants are treating Fuji as a heel! Prepare yourself! For I, one who was born into justice! Live justly, and just die with justice! <laughs> because the, her actions are justified. Not just justified, but justly so. 
See, she's doing all the puns with justice, and I like it. We'll now serve your justice. Oh, I love that one! Yes! Yes, Spice, more! More puns! In other words, she's gonna kill you, meow. Ugh, justice this, justice that! How about you just shut up? Forget my allergies. You wanna fight so bad? I'll give you one! You know, Fuji did give a good one right there. Nemesis says, now you're missing the joke. The pink one, blossom blue one is bubbles. And if they had a green one, that would be buttercup. No, I got the joke. What I'm trying to say is, what would you name a girl that's called everything nice? Because we got... Think about it. We got sugar, who is bubbles. We got spice, who is blossom. And then, what would you call the girl that's named everything nice? You get it? That's the only reason they got sugar and spice. Otherwise, if they had a name for everything nice, they would have added the green one. That's what I was trying to get at, Nemesis. And yeah, there's no green one. Damn. I was hoping there would be one in the team. I'm gonna do my worst! Is that- wait, does that name everything- wait, does the name mean everything nice? Because Felicity could also be a cat name. Let me see, like, he's level 32. What are all these guys? Yeah, we're over leveled here. Hey, dude! Hey, dude! Hey, dude! Hey, dude! No! Hey, dude! Hey, dude! Hey, dude! They're not getting away! Yeah, they're not gonna... They're not gonna do as much damage as they think they are. Let's see, Blazing Fang. Not in a secret slash, there you go. Let's go! <laughs> what a loser! Please don't right. survive me out! Felicity, it's a word for that. Oh, okay, then yeah, the green one would be named Felicity. That's also a cat name. It's another word for peace and kindness. Oh yeah, that works. That works, yeah. I could see that. Beginning extermination. Let's see, we're gonna need to look at that guy up here. Too. Get Rose over there. I see through all your moves. Let's see, Satan's gonna get involved a bit. I'll give it my all. No, oh, not Hermes. Hermes was the guy we just got for no reason. My body is iron. Let's get Mokoro in there. We'll get Vespi in there. Hmm. Wait, really? That's only going to take that much portion of the HP? That kind of... That's kind of messed up. Oh, we got Yo-Yo. We have our own special Nekomata. Uh, let's see. Grunty, Chance. Let's bring Chance in there. Who else? We got Rima. Let's get Rima in there. Nemesis says if only Hero had a brute like character and Nick named it Nemesis. Well, I'm actually waiting for the Demon Cannon, and that's actually what I was gonna name you after. The Demon Cannon the Cannon class. Because that one is like super buff and also has like a Mega Man blaster on his arm. So I figured, yeah, Nemesis would like that one. You gotta train too! They're still picking on on the boys here. Okay, let's see if we can uh, heal them up. Let's go with the mega heal. Give her to that one. Let's see, I'm already 
level 29. I should probably get to level 30. Just a good even 30. Oh shoot, I can't. This one is tanky, my goodness. Alright, so maybe we'll give it to Rima. There we go. And the rest can focus on the boss over here. I see through all your God, Nemesis is like, hell yeah! See, I knew you would like that. Nice, nice. Vesper got a level up. Mm, look at all of that hell. Yes. Rain Executioner. I wonder if that's actually stronger than the uh, Demon Tusk we have. <laughs> I managed, I managed to, to win, win but, but I, I can't, can't let anyone see me like this. But we see you like this. We can clearly see you as you are right now. That is that is clearly what we see. Even among demons, I guess there really are a bunch of goody two-shoes running around. My allergies. Such a pain. Who's there? I see that the sorcery spell continues to fester in your body. Was he the one that gave you this curse? You can't be nice anymore, so that's why it makes you, like, sick inside. But who is this man? We all know who he is. If we all played Disgaea 5, then you know exactly who this man is. But it's not- it can't be him. It can't be the same person. So it has to be the shadow. And if that's the case, that means his shadow escaped to this dimension, like this pocket dimension here. What? Benny Kage? Is that you? Don't call me that. The hero who fought against the Demodor, Mugai's disciple. He's ancient history. I'm Crimson Dark now. The total victory magistrate. The Demodor has bestowed the demonic spear upon me. It is bothering me what this guy's actual name is. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna look that up for for us right now, everyone. Cause like I know his Oh my goodness, I know I know let's see. Disgaea 5 main villain. Oh, that was weird. Oh, it didn't even type into Sky of Five. What the hell? Oh, okay, the... There he is, Void Dark. That was his name. Okay. So, Void Dark was actually this guy's original name, right? And then the shadow of him at the end of Disgaea 5, this is spoilers, everyone, um, pretty much disappeared. So now this guy is called Crimson Dark, which means this has to be a shadow. I'm hoping that's the case. If that's the case, this is a beautiful way of telling, of like pretty much bringing him back into the story. So, so it, wasn't it wasn't only the Ocean, ocean Magistrate. You're, You're one, one of them, them too? too? Say, Say what, what you, you want. want. I'll, be I'll be waiting, waiting for, for you in the final match. match. It'd, It'd be, be wise, wise to, to keep, keep your wits, wits about you. you. Those, Those who, who don't, don't die in battle. battle. No way. I mean, I would expect that to happen. I made, I made some fluff cakes, cakes, so it's, it's time, time to eat. eat. Who was that just, just now? They had quite, quite the ominous air. That was Crimson Dark, the total victory magistrate. We used to be disciples under the same master. He was my senior. Wow! Did you say Crimson Dark? He's an apprentice of Ultimate Swordmaster Mugai! 
So, so he's, he's your, your senior, senior, huh? Wait. Wait. He's your what? Mugai Fatal Fighting Technique. Red Bull. Crimson Might. He sent his opponent flying in a flash. Crimson Dark has lived up to his name as the total victory magistrate flawlessly. As one would expect of Mugai, the hero's best student, his overwhelming display has sent him straight to the semifinals. He, he's very strong. In fact, he might be the strongest we've seen yet. So that means Fuji is Crimson Dark and C Again's junior? That explains why Fuji's so powerful. He's also Mugai's student. If he continues his winning streak, we'll see a faded battle between disciples! I'm so excited! I got pants for my ants! Ants in your pants! Sheesh, calm down. That doesn't even make any sense. The ants are supposed to be in your pants. I need to calm down, too. I'm not a kid anymore. I'll be the, the first, first person, person you lose, lose to, to Benny Kage. Kage. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. If you want to catch my streams, there is a link in the bio. Remember to always be a hero to yourself and to others. Have a good morning and a good night, and I will see you all next time. Bye!